According to Wikipedia, Rue Cremieux is in the 12th district, lined on both sides with relatively small terraced houses. Most of these house fronts are painted in pastel colors. It is widely recommended for tourist photos and used in fashion shots. The street's popularity for selfies, Instagram posts, and video shoots has come to annoy the residents who have started an Instagram account of their own depicting those taking and posing for photos and ask the city council for a gate to close off Rue Cremieu on weekends and in the evening and at the golden hour. Of course, I had to take a selfie. This was my first lead rope solo at the Vieux Duc de Fauvets. Bambino, 4C plus 57. Lead rope soloing is when you don't have a partner and the device catches you when you fall. I was using the Revo by Wild Country. Here is a fall. The Viaduct des Arts is a converted train line located in the 12th district, which is now both a string of workshops for highly skilled artisans and a linear park on top. Back at Viaduct des Fauvets for another lead rope solo. This was harder, 5B plus slash 59 plus, but still below my normal leading limit. I still had to hang several times. I need more practice. The Promenade Plante is an extensive green belt that follows the old Vonsen railway line which stopped running the day I was born and a few days before my dear friend Andy Isley was born. God rest his soul. The Promenade Plante was put into place in 1984 in order to reuse the abandoned line between the Bastille and the old Montempoix gate to the city. It was inaugurated in 1993. The Promenade Plante was one of the first in the world, if not the first, to repurpose elevated old railway lines. This is Route 159 a 5C slash 510A at Saint Maximum Le Lari. It is an old rock quarry with 163 routes north of Paris. Strikes are common in France, but this one made me laugh. There were more police than people on strike.